What's going on my doll bills? D Money here. And today I'm gonna be discussing something that I haven't discussed in let's say about eight months. Cause that's that's about the time that I started getting into the new Bakugan reboot. Bakugan was something I grew up with and I thought, oh, they're rebooting it? I'm, I'm not too happy about it, but now I can say after watching a bit of it and like experimenting with the new game and getting a couple friends into it, that it's not bad. And today I actually wanted to show all of you, like, for those who are like interested in Bakugan or arts and crafts, uh, exactly what I've done with my Bakugan. Not all of them, just a good portion of them. and. I remember hearing from, uh, in one of Negative Legends videos, that uh, the people of Spin Master actually uh, don't mind it if you started painting or coloring your Bakugan, as long as you could tell what the main faction is. And well, that's what I've been doing in my spare time. And if you guys followed me on Instagram, you would know that uh, I've been doing that in my spare time. because. Uh, I've said this on live stream before, but I'm going to show you some some of my favorites that I've colored. Might as well start with the main man, Drago. Now, when I got my well, my Dragonoid Ultra, I was thinking, oh, it's pretty cool, but he doesn't really look like the version in the show. Uh, this one has a lot less color, so this is exactly what I did to him. Gave him a look very similar to how he is in the show and I'm, I'm really glad that I got him to look like this and the outcome was very nice and uh, it took me quite a bit of time to get him exactly like this but I basically for this one used some green paint uh, I used uh, metallic uh, Sharpies, regular Sharpies, black paint, and a uh, fine tip uh, black Sharpie marker. And he turned out probably one of the best. And you can't have Dragonoid or Drago without Hydronoid. Hydronoid is actually very new to my collection, but I just had to get him in here. Uh, so for this one, it's just metallic sharpies and uh, a fine point sharpie. I redid his face just because a lot of what I was going for when redesigning these were either the looks in the show or how they look on their character cards. But yeah, added some metallic feet because in his card it looks like he's got some metallic on him. His head's right there, pretty great looking. And I'm gonna ball him up real quick because this is one of the Bakugan that look really good in ball form. Not too much has changed, but that silver looks pretty nice. There's even some Bakugan where I just went the simple route, and that's with Kubo. Kubo, I think, is one of the funniest new Bakugan. Not in the show. In the show, I don't like him, but in the actual game, I do. Basically, here, it's just a metallic blue pen and a metallic silver Sharpie. I colored underneath the arms just because they weren't colored all the way. Gave him a silver belly button just like in his card. And then, only other thing is when he's balled up, I gave him blue ears on the top. But as soon as he pops out, they're white. One of the uh, first Bakugan I sort of tested out on, other than Drago, Drago was the first, but my Fangzors, all of them, I have every Fangzor except for the Aquas one, and I've colored all of mine except for the Ventus one, but this darkest one is the best. Gave him red in his mouth, I'm not sure if you're able to see that very well. Uh, and then, of course, I colored the scales. And my favorite part about this is actually the underbelly. 
Another one that I'm really glad at how it turned out was Nilius. He's got the nice silver wings on the inside and then uh, I gave him some silver lining all around him, especially on the wings. Uh, one thing I noticed when I got him and my uh, Nilius core is that his eyes were both the same, but in the show one of them was even more yellow. So for this head, probably aren't going to be able to tell but I made it a gold, but just because I didn't have a yellow sharpie. And gave him some purple for down his chest and necks. And other than that, that's really all I did. A lot of my Pyrus Bakugan like, are yellow and red, which uh, is their normal colors now. But back in the day, I remember when my my original Drago, my very first Bakugan, was more of a goldish color and red. So that's what I've been doing more with my Pyrus Bakugan. Uh, this is one of my favorites from the new show. Uh, he's just like Rub Italian, which I really was a fan of. And so I made him gold, colored his blade a bit. I was gonna change the color of the blade to black to match the one in the show. I felt like the green was giving him a bit of character. Now this one was tough to color. Some of these are easy to get metallic paint, or not metallic paint, but metallic sharpie on. But this one is one of those that were very tough. You see the wings on here. I wanted to make them more silver-like uh, for in the show and on his card. They're, they came out great. Also gave him a silver jaw. Uh, silver undercarriage and if I ball him up we can see just how good he looks uh, this one definitely was a, uh, a challenge though sometimes the the sharpies like to fade off on the Bakugan but I found out that that actually can be a good thing because a faded look is really good and I'll show a couple uh, next what I'm really talking about. So, can the sun like focus coming through my window, please? So, here's what he looks like. I think he looks great. Wow. I, I highly recommend you all do this to your back again. In terms of fading looks, I would say that this one is definitely great. I I've only just started working on this one, but I don't really see much of what else I'm going to do. On the claws is where the uh, silver sharpie started to like either run out or it just started fading a bit. And I think that's good for like a nice worn out effect, like he has been working. I think it's great. I also color some of those like bolts that the Bakugan have sometimes. Here you can see it's a little faded there, but it just makes it look like it's like had battle damage. I also wanted to color in all the mantis parts there to make them look more like saw blades. I do have other Bakugan that I've colored. Uh, like I have a, a Trox core, my other Fangzor is a Pegatrix, uh, but really these are like the best ones I would say right now or I just want to save some time and not overload all of you with stuff. So, uh, but I will be showing it of course. I do have a diamond back on, but I don't want to touch that with uh, any like paint or sharpies or anything like that. I definitely like if you guys want like a nice show to just binge watch or play in the background or just you want to get into a new game uh, definitely like get into this. This is pretty cool. Uh, you don't necessarily have to like buy the Bakugan. You could just watch the show too. It's It's all up to you. I want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, thank you to my Patreon shout out or my my Patreon subscriber. Uh, here's a shout out, Jamel Umanzer. Dude, you're you're pretty cool, man. <laughs> like, thank you for your support. Uh, 
I want you all to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Patreon. Uh, Patreon is getting some exclusive stuff right, stuff right now. Uh, I have run into a little bit of a roadblock when sharing my uh, videos early. And I'm trying to fix that right now, but I'm still pretty new to sharing videos on Patreon. Uh, I really wish that they just like have an option to where I could just put up a video that's on my desktop. But anyways, I want you all have a great day. Bye.